Hi there. This video will demonstrate how to install the Rambox bed rack. Step 1. Remove the end caps on both the driver and passenger side rails. Then, remove the bed rail tie-down anchors. Next, locate the lower rail mounts. Install six lower rail mounts on the driver side and six on the passenger side. Now, locate the hardware bag labeled Upper Cargo Rail Attachment and take the square mounting nuts out. Slide the square mounting nuts into the upper rail slot. There should be a total of six on the passenger side and six on the driver side. For the next step, we will need the rail mounting bases and the hardware from the bag labeled Lower Cargo Rail Attachment. Line up a rail mounting base with two of the lower rail mounts and install a washer and nut to both studs. Next, with the hardware left from the hardware bag upper cargo rail attachment, pre-assemble each bolt with a lock washer and washer. Using the pre-assembled hardware, install the hardware through the rail mounting base and catch two of the square upper rail mounting nuts. Snug all of the hardware down just enough to allow the base to be adjusted back and forth. Repeat these steps until you have three rail mounting bases on the passenger side and three on the driver side. Next, we will be assembling the bed rack legs. Locate the bracket labeled 3822 and one of the bed rack legs. Using the hardware from bag 9022, assemble the bed rack leg to bracket 3822. The slots should be at the bottom of the leg with the rock light hole angled to the side. There will be a total of four holes that require a bolt and nut to secure bracket 3822 to the bed rack leg. Fully fasten the hardware. Once the bed rack leg is fully assembled, it should look like this. Repeat these steps for the rest of the bed rack leg assembly. Next, install the bed rack leg onto the rail mounting base. Using hardware from bag 9027, install a washer and nut to both studs. Slide the bed rack leg to the inside of the bed and fully fasten the hardware. Repeat these steps for the rest of the bed rack legs. If you have the variable height bed rack legs, now is the time to choose how high you want the bed rack to be. We will be setting this one right at cab height. With hardware from bag 9020, install a bolt and nut at the topmost and bottom holes where the legs intersect. Once all four bolts and nuts are installed on each leg, you can now fully fasten the hardware completely. Repeat these steps to the other variable height legs. Now, locate the center side panel, inside panels, and hardware bag 9002. Starting with the center side panel, install bolts and washers on the front side, and then install the nuts on the back side. Next, slide an inside panel into the center side panel. Line up the holes and install the bolts, washers, and nuts. Repeat to the other end of the side panel. Locate hardware bag 9023 and install two bolts and nuts on the lower section of the side panel to connect the center and inside panels. Repeat to the top section of the side panels. You can now fully fasten the hardware securing the side panels to the bed rack legs. Then, you can fully fasten the hardware securing the side plates together. Set the distance of where you would like the bed rack to be. Measure and make sure it is the same on the opposite side. Then you can fully fasten the lower rail hardware to the mounting base. Next, using a ball and allen key, full fasten the upper rail hardware to the mounting base. Now, locate the crossbar center and ends in hardware bag 9010. With one of the crossbar ends, slide it into the crossbar center. Then slide the other crossbar end on. Now, Move the assembled crossbar to the bed. Set the crossbar on the bed rack legs. With hardware from bag 9003, start installing the bolts and nuts through the bed rack legs to crossbar. Now, with bolts, washers, and nuts, install them into the holes on the crossbars to secure the crossbar center with the crossbar ends. You'll want to use the holes as far apart as possible while making sure both the crossbar end and center are lining up. Repeat to the other crossbar end on both sides of the crossbar. Now, fully fasten all the hardware securing the crossbar ends to the crossbar center. Repeat to the other crossbars. 
Congratulations! You have completed the installation of the truss bed rack.